I'm Dr. Philip Yu from the 21st Century Journal Medicine Institute, and today we are demo demoing a focus shockwave unit uh, on Michael Pine's bone on bone osteoarthritis of the right ankle joint. So, we're just going to do before and after comparison of how he's walking now, level of pain, and after the focus shockwave treatment. So, you want to go ahead and walk down the hall for us? Yeah, sure. So, on a scale of 1 to 10, how bad? Will that get if you keep on walking like that? Uh, it'll get to about eight or nine. Eight or nine, okay. Yeah, all right. I mean, I, I just can't put much weight on it. All right. Yeah. Okay, and okay. we'll go ahead and do the treatment over here. Sure. Okay. So before we tried radial shock wave, and that's more for like it that kind of shock like there's a bullet in there and it vibrates like I don't know 15 times a second and that uh, mechanical energy transfers into acoustic sound waves to theoretically break up adhesions but that radio is more like it covers a larger surface area so it's great for like muscle and large surface areas like fascia where this focus unit is a different technology and correct me if I'm wrong um, it's more of like it's actually like a lightning bolt it, it, it shoots out a high electrical pulse so it's more like it's focus it's like a sniper where the other can you show a picture of the, uh, the radio the radial unit and the different so the radial is more so this is like your focus yeah okay so the way that it actually sets up is that the the prism in the coil actually magnifies this electromagnetic shot into yep. a very specific area okay and what you can do is that you can target the max amount of energy at a depth of penetration so within the tissue um, the radial is more like the after effect of what you get with the focus where everything hits at the surface and then disperses outwards. Okay? Yeah, and it's so a different almost... form that's mechanical and sound wave where this is more electromagnetic field, just, you know, folk, it's like a, it's like a sniper, right? Absolutely. Yeah, for Absolutely. deeper penetration, it doesn't have a wide base, like, like the Navy SEALs, they have the machine gunner for, you know, spray and pray for wider coverage. Then they got the sniper with the 50 caliber. It's focused, right? Yep. You can penetrate Absolutely. deeper. So you kind of need both in a way. And so yeah. where this, yeah. and ultimately where this truly shines is that, you know, there's a lot of stuff that you can do therapeutically with exercise and everything. Also loosen up surrounding musculature yeah. um, and things like that. Where this truly shines is actually um, reduction of calcifications. Yeah. Okay. And Which is perfect also, with the bone on bone ankle. A lot of calcifications adhesions absolutely yeah. and yeah. so in order for this to work what we're stimulating is vascularization and blood flow into an area that is avascular chronically in nature okay yeah. and so what this type of device will do is that it'll actually take that chronic condition of inflammation okay and those calcifications and move it into a subacute level so healing and liberation can actually occur oh well, exactly and um, there have been some studies where shockwave has been shown to um, enhance proliferation of stem cells Cells, your body's endogenous stem cells Absolutely. and stem cells we actually inject in so we want to actually try to reactivate those Absolutely. without further ado let's show us how it's done okay so ultimately you know you know your patient a little bit better than I do I'll shoot and point but you know kind of tell me you know some of the areas that he's having issues with where his limited range of motion is where the pain is coming from all yeah, that so basically the anterior telocural and the lateral aspect of the okay. ankle joint most of the pain is right focus around there still laterally I would yeah 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 laterally and then the interior yeah right okay. there okay so anterior telocool and the lateral you know aspect of the ankle right here so usually I check it with the infrared thermometer that there is a great sense me right there see how it popped up mm -hmm. the temperature yep so anterior right the telocool joint and the lateral right Right around here, it's mostly here, mm -hmm. but it does have pain. If we could just go back and forth. Absolutely. I even argue do medial since it's pretty just bone on bone all the way around. Yeah. So what I'll probably do to start off with to see how he actually feels um, yeah. doing the treatment, um, the way that we set up is that we put a little bit of tension on the, the, the wood that we're actually going after, right? Okay. okay, so that allows us to get open it up and, and do our treatment. Um, what I'll do to start off with is about 500 shocks um, on each side, okay? So essentially the, the top, the lateral, and the medial side. Um, our goal here to create, you know, the cellular proliferation, the cellular wall permeability, 
the natural release of nitric oxide um, that promotes neoangiogenesis, all this fun stuff, is that we have to stress the tissue and the cells, okay, to actually achieve this result. Well, yeah, you're creating um, temporary local acute inflammation, which is part of the healing process, Absolutely. right? It Absolutely. causes cytokine signaling to get stem cells to repair, you know, the 100%. Tissue. So to do that, you know, our, cook, ankle, yeah. Yeah, our cookbook for this is that I, it's not a comfortable treatment, right? So what I want you to be in is if the first, you know, 100 shocks or so, you know, we're going to get into about a 6 out of 10 in terms of that pain scale. Okay. And from there, that's as far as we'll go. We don't need to beat you up too bad, any okay. of that stuff. Okay? All right. Yeah. Um, I always like to err on the side of the caution, right? You know, because if you overhit an area that's inflamed, yeah. you could be very, very sore, you know, the next couple days and all that kind of stuff. And we want to try to avoid that right so right. let's get this process started okay. and then work a couple of additional treatments you know down the road as as we go from there so okay. um, you know for you you know this will be something that we do a treatment you know once every you know five to seven days essentially um, and you know we should be able to uh, make a, a pretty significant change um, you know in, in you know a couple of treatments so great. yeah so that's what we'll go after so all right how the settings work so the way that this unit sets up is actually very very simple and easy to use so so our energy, okay, we can adjust, it goes anywhere between 0.01 millijoules per millimeter squared, mm -hmm. okay, all the way up to 0.55. So what you'll see is that actually as I adjust the energy, so it's on its lowest setting, mm -hmm. the frequency actually automatically adjusts for you. Okay. So where, with the radio pressure wave, you, you, you have, sometimes have to go by bars it. and hurts where exactly. this is. And so still, when you look at all the research, everything is based off of your millijoules per millimeter squared, right? Mm -hmm. the, the amount of energy that you're delivering over this very small area, okay? So this is just a very true form of what the radial pressure wave can actually do um, that is significantly higher powered and significantly more focused. And because of that, it's gonna adjust and modify how, how fast we can deliver the treatment and everything else based off of the energy that we're using. Okay. If I had to guess, we're probably not gonna go very high on him, okay? okay. To get to that six out of 10 so with the energy that we're dealing with, I'm guessing he's probably gonna be like, you know, maybe around that 0.05 to 0.1. So it depends on, on patient treatment. tolerance. But if they can grip to the pain, the more of energy, the better. I wouldn't say no? so. Okay. Yeah. So let, and let them decide. Yeah. And once again, you know, ultimately, you know, initially when all this stuff first started coming out, and that's like 20 years ago, right. they always thought that you just had to beat the snot out of the area to, you know, reduce those calcifications and things yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. But truly what you actually see in more of the most recent research is that we can actually facilitate this process. And over time, where the first time we do our treatment, we spike that inflammation. And the next time we do our treatment, we're, we're already started this neoangiogenesis, the healing process. So we don't spike inflammation as high the next time. And then the next time. So by the time we get to our second or third, we should get be pretty close in terms of resolution, better range of motion, mm -hmm. less pain, all that kind of fun stuff. Now I know that if you don't use any of these adapters, this will penetrate the deepest as deepest. is. Yep. But if you want to go medial tissue, adapter for medial exactly. penetration and superficial. So this is like a baby bottle. The longer the baby bottle is, the tip. Kind of thing. I think of it as like a magnifying glass, right? Yeah. Like you adjust it closer or further. So we're going to do a stuff. medial for the ankle. I would probably even yeah. say more superficial because superficial. so we're, so this you know, is our maximum. Yep. Okay. And so our max amount of energy is like, you know, right around that like 1.5 yeah, centimeters. The ankle, so there's not a lot of tissue, so we can exactly. do Exactly, but we're still getting a therapeutic range of zero to like nine centimeters, okay? okay so yeah. you're still getting a very therapeutic range through all of that. So right. once again, you know, like you saw that photo, the focus, it hits the area that we're targeting, and then it actually disperses out radially like you would with the radial pressure wave. So essentially you're getting one and two kind of things. So. The way that this sets up, like I said, let's go ahead and kick this down to 500 shocks. So I just highlight it and I hit to my 500 shocks. Okay. We're going to start, oops, we're going to start with our energy, kick right. it up to maybe about 0.5. We'll see how he okay. does with that. All we'll right. adjust it up or down from mm -hmm. there based off of how he feels and his response. Okay. Okay. So, so you don't even mess with the frequency. You leave it at seven in general. Uh, yep. So it actually automatically adjusts. It, okay. It, it won't allow me to adjust the frequency right. based off of the energy that we Great. use. So Perfect. It makes it very, very simple and easy right. to use. So let's go ahead and start on that medial side since we've already got it open up here. All right. Okay. So I only need just a little bit of ultrasound gel. And my treatment application here, so essentially what you're doing is that you're creating this like essential beam, this focal zone point, right? Uh -huh. Okay, and we can bring this up a little bit. 
Okay. So you've got this beam that's about 35 millimeters, so uh -huh. three, three and a half centimeters, essentially, of an area that you can actually create with this beam. So we're going pretty deep with this. Right. Um, it's very focal. So if you need to adjust and move, you can either, you know, adjust up and down. Okay. You can go side to side, or you can also pivot and rotate to actually allow us to get that, that change. And let me show you what that looks like as well. So when we're talking about our electromagnetic source, this is the type of prism that we're dealing with in comparison, comparison to some of the different technologies mm -hmm. out there. So very, very focused. And once again, this is the way that your movement actually works, okay? So you can actually get this beam and adjust it, okay, by pivoting, okay, by creating that linear movement up and down, okay, and then, uh, yeah, also side to side. Okay, okay. so that's that kind of stuff. Michael, do you ever notice pain on the inside of the ankle? The inside more so than yeah. the more so than the outside. Yes. Okay, so I think, which is good because we're going to start on the inside here. So let me scan it. So right there, you're on fire. It's 89.1 degrees. Is that yeah. tender? A little bit. Tender here. Yeah. More there. Yeah. Yeah. See how accurate that is? Yeah. 88 degrees. Yep. We're going to hit that spot right there. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start the treatment. Um, you let me know how it feels. The more communication that you have with me, the better. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I do want you to, you know, I mean, the best that you can perceive, like a 6 out of 10. Sure. Um, and we'll go from there. Once sure. again, it's not going to be too, too feel good, especially on those areas that are inflamed. And it's pretty quick, so... So you don't have to press in, just the weight of the Correct. instrument is enough. Exactly. And you let me know once I get over a little area that you actually feel a little bit more, and we'll adjust from there. How's that feel? Keep on going your own way. Scale one to ten. One? <laughs> it's nothing. I think yeah. you take a lot. He's yeah. Rambo, right? That's... Like, uh, remember they're turning up electricity? Uh, Gee! <laughs> it's in my... Um, my Screen Actors Guild. There you go, yeah. Uh -huh. Contract. Yeah. How's that feel now? It's, it's okay. Pretty bearable. You yeah. Significant, a little change? A little bit. Okay. Yeah. So we just kick it up, okay? We adjust it as we go from there. What's the uh, highest? 0.55. So we're on very, very low settings. And it doesn't take much. You know, for me, you know, when I treat like my Achilles and all that kind of stuff, mm -hmm. uh, I'm usually in that 0.01 to 0.2, and that's it. So, so a little tender there. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. So we can yeah. hold it here, yeah. and we can adjust and yeah. pivot, and he'll let you know when you get over some of those spots as you adjust. You can move. Yeah, my um, so he, infrared thermometer showed that was a spot of grace inflammation, yeah, right. so yeah. It feels a lot different from You're, that other machine oh, used, yeah, right? Yeah. Does it feel deeper? Yeah, it does. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, less... Um, it's more tolerable? It's more tolerable. Yeah. 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 It's actually hitting... Yeah, where we need to. Where we need to be, yeah. Like I said, I called in the Navy SEALs, machine gunner came, you know, he came in with his the minigun. He's right. Now we got the 50 caliber sniper. Yeah. I, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do another set of five hundred in that area. Okay. Just to see how you feel. Felt pretty good, right? Satisfying. It was decent. Okay. Yeah, it was fine. Yeah. Take it up to thirty, man. Point thirty. That's so. what I would do. <laughs> Who's are you on there? Hey, I want this to work, man. And so, you know, I'll tell you what, you know, because I felt this and I've overtreated myself, and the next day, all right, you pay for gosh, it. Gosh, I'm like, I'm, right. I'm kind of hurting, you know. Yeah. And, and, and well, we and want Michael know. to get his money's worth. So let's go to the dentist. Hey, it's not sore. I gotta go back and you oh, know, yeah, make right it there. I gotta yep. get the drill. So when he says that's the spot, I'm gonna hold there, okay? okay. And then I'm just gonna kind of move away. All right. And then I can come back in and just so you don't get heat accumulation like the other no, no, it's like ultrasound. Great. Okay, so we found a, a hot spot for him. Yeah, I sure did. Okay, so let's adjust that. Now we know where to target. I would say if we just do medial and anterior, we're done. I don't think we have to do lateral. Yeah. So okay. go ahead and turn your ankle a little bit. I adjust it uh, the other way. We're right, not done quite okay. yet. Yeah. So, but what I did, I turned it down. I don't. I don't need to kill you here. Okay. Yeah. So, a little more manageable, right? Yeah. Good. Oh yeah. So in general, 500 shots per area? Yeah, so it depends, you know, so I would say, you know, on the ankle, yeah, 500 to 1,000 shots per area, that's all you need. How about okay. the knee? Um, say about 1,000, okay. yeah, 1,000 to 2,000, you know, on some of the other like structures hip, and areas. shoulder. Absolutely, absolutely. Like, you know, when you're talking about the Achilles, what I like to do is, 
500 shocks, you know, lateral. So medial, the knee would then. use that uh, superficial or yep. medial, yep. but Same hit thing. the deep, right? Exactly. Just take it off. Okay, exactly. And how about shoulder? This superficial? So shoulder, depending on the area that you're actually treating. So yeah. if you're actually trying to get into like, uh, you know, uh, Subscapular. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Some of the deeper areas. But like anterior labrum or biceps tendonitis, it's going to be superficial. Okay. So let's turn you and, and just go ahead and yeah. um, relax your ankle down. Yeah. If you you need more gel? Uh, yeah. Yeah, let's do that anterior tailocrural. It's on fire. Okay. Yep, and it's this guy right here. Get my other you can feel the, the tightness. That So that, that limitation, a lot of calcification, the sheath on that is just, yeah, it's definitely in player. So just kick a little extra gel on there. Try to relax that ankle down a little bit if you can. I know it's tough it's, to do. Yeah. Okay, so let's do the same thing here. So we just hit the shots, we reset it. Okay. And then we'll go from here again. So I'm guessing this one's probably not going to be as painful. Okay, so um, we might be able to get a little extra energy out of it and things sure. like that. But we do it before. Yeah, before no, this yep, 80.3, yeah. So I actually have some experience doing this treatment on myself. I had a uh, high lateral ankle sprain, um, mm -hmm. and you know, same ligaments are just completely locked up for me. One treatment, I gained like 20 degrees range of motion. Yeah. How's that scale, one to 10? Uh, like a four, five, yeah. So just kick it up just a touch. Sure Don't can. need to do much. Yeah. So like 0.3 at a time? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Especially when he's into that four or five, you know? So if you have a patient that's sitting there just conversing with you, you know, they're not sweating a little bit, you gotta use a little more energy because otherwise we're not gonna create that change. You can feel as I get yeah. closer to the bone, oh, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. That lights All right. as well. So you gotta okay? be careful around bony Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. tuberances. Not to say that doesn't heal, but you get a lot of refraction, right? That lightning strike is hitting an area of high, high density, okay? And so because of that, you know, you can get a lot of refraction, a lot of discomfort and pain. <laughs> but you're also talking about activating connective tissue, right? Okay, so we're talking about strengthening, you know, the ligament to the bone and everything else too. So there's a lot of stuff that we're doing on this intrinsic healing process that can be beneficial. And so going over that bone is not necessarily a bad thing. It's just not very comfortable. And you can tell now that we're over that bone, we did those initial shots. Now you can take what it. What we're doing, yeah. exactly, because we're cutting off those pain gates. So not only are we cre creating an endorphin release within the body, but we're also um, cutting off pain gates. So gate control theory, right? Yeah. So, all right. So let's uh, let's grab a baby wipe. Let's see how you do, and maybe we can hit the lateral. But we'll yeah. See. Let me see how tender it is, and let me see the inflammation laterally in your mic. Yeah. See the baby wipe. It's not as bad on the outside. You're about. 83.6, but and that's not tender. No, it's, yeah, that is. That is. Yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That right there. I mean, that's probably just like normal. Okay. You know, we can still hit that side. How about here? Yeah. No, no, no. Just no. there. Yeah. Is that as tender as the other side? Mm, yeah, more so there. Oh, yeah. when you're walking on it, does that hurt you? I think it does. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Maybe we should hit that right other side just for just to be thorough. I think you got more arthrosis on the outside. You're not going to have a lot of inflammation on a, a joint that's chronically arthritic. It's actually cold, right. not out of blood flow, but you can't have that pain. Yeah. So I'm going to break that up. So it's mostly, it was right here, okay. this guy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you got a good memory. Well, <laughs> it's kind of what I do. You know? <laughs> like when we, when we mark the points for injections, I, yeah. I know the points. You know where it is. Starting on lower level energy, okay. right? Okay, and we'll ramp it up from there. Sure. So you just let me know how it feels after right. it's going this for like five Yeah, rock and roll. feel for it? Absolutely. Okay. So, so I just press the on button and we're rocking and rolling. Yeah, so you just hit it, so position it, and then uh, hit it from there and uh, okay. stay pretty. Let's uh, hit him with the 50. Specific and local. Get the 50 yep. killer on you. Hmm. Got six rounds. Rambo. Yeah. How does that feel? Is that pretty the good. spot right there? Yeah, that is. Yep. Tell me if it comes too much. Scale one to ten. It's about a four now. Yeah, that's that's getting up there. 
Yeah. That's not bad. So we're so we're at a fifth of the energy that we can actually be using. Okay. okay. So that's the other side of this is that this is a very powerful device. I do see a little red light in there. Is that the actual? Is it just an aiming beam? It's probably actually a reflection of that through like the silicone gel or something like that. Okay. That's the actually table. the electromagnetic energy uh, okay. signature. Or, or the labeling, huh? Uh, so what I would say, it's actually, I'm guessing, it's probably the laser next door. Oh yeah, ah, oh, it's <laughs> probably, it's like a, yeah. a reflection, like the rainbow, huh? Yeah. Maybe we should have a laser running next door so it looks cooler, huh? Yeah. So that's the beauty of this too, right? So, because we're creating inflammation, right? Okay, albeit good inflammation. So if I were to crank it up, this one. All right, tell me when. We're okay. I know this was a spot before. Yeah, yeah, All right. that's it. That's a spot. Scale of mm -hmm. 1 to 10, what is that? That hits it up to maybe about a 6 or so. There's okay. 7, 7, maybe. So let me know. Yeah, yeah. So that's the cool thing is that it also becomes a diagnostic tool at this point, yeah. too, right? You know, where it's like you can really find those calcifications pretty yeah. quickly. Mm -hmm. And from there, you can target those. Wow. And that's it. That's pretty and so remember, we're creating this endorphin release. the baby release. bottle off, huh? Yeah. yeah, so we're creating this endorphin <laughs> release. So... You actually, you know, you should feel a little bit better now, but 10 minutes from now, 15 minutes it'll, from it'll, now, it'll start, it'll start to kick in and feel actually even better, oh, okay? okay? Where you might actually be get a, get a little bit more sore uh -huh. is like this evening and tomorrow. Gotcha. So typically, you know, if it's, it's more sore and everything yeah. else, that inflammation subsides within 24 hours, gotcha. okay? So typically you'll feel pretty good after, during and after treatment, yeah. okay? And then... It's usually just the first treatment too. So after we've done this first treatment, just curious, all of a sudden, down. we've already started. This it is. It was process, 88 kind of medial. So, so the next time we do this treatment, anterior was 88. We're down to 72. Right, so, yeah, Lateral so wasn't that high anyways. But look, the 80 is gone. So right away, the inflammation's. We're down to our 70s. It was like 88 before. Yes. So let's see how you're walking it's now. It's okay, sure. Yeah. This is the real, the real test, right? Yeah, sure. And going all the way down. Yeah, just, all right, you gotta get set. Yeah, it feels. Uh, You're limping less. Quite a bit better. So I, you know, I'm, I'm actually taking a step. Right yeah. Now, so. Yeah. Yeah, you're walking with less. You're not leaning as much. I'm not. I'm not walking on the outside of my foot. Yeah, you I'm can actually put pressure. Straight. Yeah. So on a scale of one to ten, how's it right now? now? Yeah. I would say probably down to like a between a three or so, yeah. three or four. And maybe. it was what was it before? Like about seven, eight. All right, so 100 percent, at least 50, yeah. maybe 60. Yeah, no, no, there's no question about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah 65 percent improvement. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's what we had after the stem cells. But again, when you started walking on it, and this reignited, it, it, it rebooted the stem cells, right? So we want to make sure it right. keeps going. Right. Yeah. Right. And so you know, when we talk about doing these treatments, when it comes to efficacy, right? Yeah. Okay. Look at him. If yeah. you did, if you did just just the shockwave treatment, yeah. okay? Mm -hmm. You're about at about 70% efficacy. Yeah. Let's add in isometric loading on the tendon, okay? Yeah. So however we do that, you know, with any kind of manual treatment or therapy that you would actually do, you know, a little isometric loading, okay? Yeah, that's Wolf's Law. If you load a joint, it'll get stronger if you put stress on exactly. it. Exactly, and because we've created this vasodilation and everything else, we know that we can increase blood flow sevenfold into that area to really promote that healing, that right. angiogenesis. So okay. that's huge, that kicks it up to like you know, that, that tells because I've heard that this, yeah, one treatment usually, sometimes that's enough, you know. It's amazing. Yeah. 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 One, it, it take really one is. sniper guy to take the enemy out, pain out, and, you know. And so it's I, so powerful maybe once a week because it'll be too sore doing it every other day, right? Exactly. And so here's here's the beauty of what you have in this clinic in this office with the in-between is that we're creating inflammation, laser accelerates the inflammatory process, right? So do your laser treatments in between okay, yeah. to, you know, manage if the, the blood comfort, inflammation, all that yeah. kind of good stuff. You got it. Um, I still wouldn't do the treatment any faster, you know, with the shockwave, let that healing process happen, but the, the laser in between is a So great now you one see how, punch. how, what type of patients we see, a lot of bone on bone knees, hips, ankle, you know, degenerative arthritis of the spine and shoulders. Do you think this would be sufficient 
focus, or do you still recommend while well, you still need a radio as well for other applications? No, you know, I think this truly, be good enough. Yeah, yeah. So, so truly what you see, you know, in the rest of the world, so we've had this in the United States for nine months, yeah. our international side, Chattanooga, because they don't have to deal yeah, with yeah, FDA yeah. and everything else, have uh, been selling it for 12 years, yeah. okay? And what you see is that typical clinicians start with the RPW because it gets results and it's a little bit better on price point and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then five to six years later, they're like, oh, maybe I should take a look at this focus shockwave technology. And so once they have the focus, usually the radial just sits in the, sits in the corner. Okay, okay, yeah. And plus and so you need more treatments of that. Well, this is just one. And you even felt the difference with the other machine, huh? Deeper penetration, more focused. Probably less sore than the machine gun. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And the results were not like this. Right. Really, I mean, you it's, got sunlight, but not like this. It's, it's so I think we're easy. back toward before after that initial Wharton's jelly stem cell injection. Now we got to make sure it keeps going. How often do you come in? Once a week. Once a week. Yeah, okay, perfect. Yeah. So make sure you're doing, you know, your stretches and try to get some range of motion going yeah. and things yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah. You know, in between. Yeah. Um, but yeah, keep coming. Because we're going to start getting referrals from the uh, NFL Alumni Association. Mm -hmm. so they partner with the stem cell lab called Signature Athletica, uh -huh. and these cells. They're the most potent umbilical cord Wharton's jelly stem cells. They're really thick. Uh -huh. And like we put orange jelly in his ankle, right? And we saw the results, but we want to have something where it keeps the stem cells right. activated. Right? Absolutely. And I think, you know, this may be the machine. Yeah. All right. And these are big guys that are going to come in, you know, 250, so you 300 to, pounds. Yeah. So we want the deep yeah, 50 won't caliber. Able, yeah. Yeah. We won't be able to reach that deep. Yeah. Yeah. I want to get those players and also demos on them. Right, thanks for watching. Yeah.